Hello everybody, welcome back into another video, and in today's video, we're going to be downloading shaders for Coverlet Tag. You need a PC for this, and make sure you have a really, really good computer to run this, because sometimes if you have a pretty bad computer, you either can't run reshade at all, or it's gonna lag like crazy, or it's just gonna crash when you install reshade. So if it crashes, or lags, or anything like that, then your computer isn't good enough. But if it does crash, it's really good practice to go down into my Discord server and ask for help there. So the first thing we're gonna do is just open up Chrome, Edge, Opera, any browser you use. Then search up in the top bar over here, search up reshade.me. I'll also leave it down in the description. Cookies, click yes, whatever. Now, here we have reshade. We want to click download and download 6.6.2 if there is a newer version download the newer version you don't have to use 6.6 okay now once you download it it's going to be in your file explorer so just open a file explorer and just find reshade i have my reshade right over here so just double click it and open it and here as you can see i have all my games here uh right here all my games now, you're going to find gorillatag.exe here. So if you can't find gorillatag here in this list, uh, you can click browse and then just search up a tutorial on how to get a game path on Steam. But yeah, just select gorillatag.exe there. But yeah, here we're gonna select gorillatag. Click next. After you click next, you're gonna see Direct X 10, 11, 12, you want to select this. Do not select anything else or else it will not work. You need to select this. Then click next. And here is going to be select effects to install. You would need as many effects as possible. So you want to uncheck all. Once you uncheck all, you want to click check all again. So everything is checked and make sure everything is checked. If you can't do this for some reason, just go ahead and check everything, right? So just check everything then click next and let it download. Once it's done downloading, you want to click finish. So once everything is finished and done and installed, you should want to start up Gorilla Tag. So just start Gorilla Tag and let me switch over to my second desktop so you guys can see this. Okay, so as you can see in Gorilla Tag, we have reshade installed and everything done. So now you want to press the home button on your keyboard. If you don't have the home key on your keyboard, you want to open the search. I can't open the search. Okay. But you want to just search up on screen keyboard and then pull this up just on screen keyboard. As you can see, there's the home key right here. So you want to click the home key. Then here you're going to have this just skip tutorial. It doesn't matter. And yeah, we're basically done. Now the hardest part is actually making your preset. Uh, you can go over here, add bloom, like add bloom, uh, set up intensity, curve, and saturation, set up layers as well. Uh, hold on. Um, set up colorfulness. You know, you can lower down intensity so it looks better. There's effects as well if you just want certain effects. You know, you can play around with this. Put on some HDR as well, HDR bloom, motion blur as well. And you can just make your game look really, really good by just playing around with these. If you cannot set up and playing around with these is not working for you, let me teach you guys how to get my preset so you can get my graphics. So you want to go into my Discord server. The link is down in the description to join. And right here we see Ice's reshade over here where the channels are. Uh, click Gorilla Tag Modding Ice's reshade right here. And right here, Ice's reshade. Of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel because this took me a while to make. But now you want to download this Isis reshade.ini. Once you download the preset, it's again going to be in your downloads. But right here, as you can see, Isis reshade, I have the file here. 
So you want to go down to Gorilla Tag, right click it, manage, browse local files. Once you browse local files, you won't see some files here. And as you can see, I already have ISIS reshaded here. So let me delete it and just put in this. So just put, put it in all the time. I recommend also deleting this reshade preset because that's just default graphics. So just delete reshade preset.ini. And right here, make sure this ISIS reshade is in the folder. Then you want to close out and launch Gorilla Tag. When it loads up, nothing will be different. There are going to be reshade text, but nothing would be different. So you want to press the home key on your keyboard again. And here, see where it says reshade preset? You want to click next preset and then it will load. And then it will look awesome. You can see this is my preset. Uh, better graphics, better shadows. Uh, looks really, really good. If I go into city, you can see it looks awesome. Thank you.